Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross key skill video on finding the height of a cone given its volume. Now in the previous video we saw how to find the volume of the cone. It was just equal to a third pi r squared h where the radius of the cone was r, the radius of the circle at the bottom and the height of the cone was h. So that's the formula we need and we're just going to use that formula here. But this time around, rather than being given the radius and the height, we're given the volume and we have to work out the height. But still, it's just a case of substituting into this formula. So we're given the volume of the cone this time. It's 150 equals, and then a third times pi multiplied by the radius squared, which is 5 squared, multiplied by the height, which we don't know. So let's call it h as it is there. Now, we want to get h on its own. It's been multiplied by the 5 squared, the pi, and the third. So we just need to divide that 150 by all of this stuff here. So if we do 150 divided by a third times pi times 5 squared, that will just leave h on the right-hand side. So I just need to put that into my calculator. I'm going to use a fraction key to keep all of this stuff at the bottom together. So a third times pi times 5 squared. And that gives me, for h, 5.73, and it's going to be centimetres, the unit, to three significant figures. So that is the final answer there. What about the second one? Now, the difference with this one is that the volume is given in terms of pi. Now, when they do that, the pi will typically cancel in your equation. But let's do what we had before. We have the volume of the cone is a third pi r squared h. And we want to substitute each thing we know into it. So the volume we know this time is 120 pi is equal to a third times pi times the radius squared, so 6 squared, multiplied by the height, which we don't know. Let's call it h, h for height. And then can you see that we could divide both sides of the equation by pi because we've got pi here and we've got a pi in this multiplication here. So let's just cross out the pi to make them cancel because we're dividing both sides by pi. And then if we wanted, we could simplify the right-hand side. We've got a third times 6 squared times h. Well, what's a third times 6 squared? It's a third times 36, which is 12, but you could do that on your calculator if you wish, times by h, so 12h. And then if you just divide both sides by 12, we get h is equal to exactly 10. And we're not given any units, so we could just say 10 units or just h equals 10. We'll do.